How many of you know what this is? We want to impact the world. This is my way of entering another country without physically going. I want these children to come to know the Lord Jesus Christ. I just see this fire burning in me that never goes away. You have the hands packing the gifts, putting them in the box, the feet carrying them to the other side of the world, and other hands distributing the gifts. You get an idea of the body of Christ. 100% of the churches that participate in Operation Christmas Child impact a church on the other side of the world. Over 100 million shoebox gifts have helped tens of thousands of churches share God's love. For many of these children, they've never had anything new in their life. Maybe many of them have never had toys like this or a gift, but we gave this in Jesus' name. When we take the Operation Christmas Child to the community, they have accepted us and it has been a wonderful tool to introduce us in the community. It enables the church to act like a body, locally, globally, to express the heart of love that the Father has toward people that he made. Not only Christian to Christian, and Christian to child, but church to church. are people, people with children. Okay, good morning church. I'm so excited to be with you sharing this information. I want you to observe as I remove two bars valued at $1,900 each. What a wonderful time it is to watch God as he frees us from the bondage of debt. Our mortgage now is $74,000 approximately. I want to thank you, Jesus, for freedom, and I want to thank you, church family, for giving as God leads. Thank you. And three weeks ago was like the worst I've ever been. Like, I was doing like marijuana and I was drinking and like I was going after girls. I didn't realize what I was doing until it was too late, until I was so, like, I thought I was so far away from God that I could never get back to Him. What made me want to come after I realized the impact that it had on the young people of our church from last year, I was just like, oh my gosh, I have to come. Like, I have to. I never felt God's presence more than I did last night during worship. You know, it was just an amazing experience. I went down there with one of my good friends, and she was talking about, like, giving everything of, like, your depression and thoughts of suicide. Tonight, just being on my knees, I gave it to God. I had so many scars from what I'd done and where I'd been, but then God just like picks you up and forgives you for everything. Just let God chase after you. Stop putting your focus on that one thing that you don't need and you know isn't good for you. Let God capture who you are and let Him guide your path. If you're a first-time guest here today at First Baptist Church, on behalf of all of us, I'd like to welcome you. I'd like to draw your attention to the seat in front of you where you can find this welcome guest card. If you could fill it out for us, and before you head off to lunch, drop it off at the Welcome Center, we'd really appreciate that. On the back, uh, for everyone, is an opportunity to submit your prayer requests, 
uh, drop it off in the offering plate or that same Welcome Center, and we'll be glad to faithfully pray for your requests. You can also go online to fbcfh.org and submit them 24-7 there as well. Now, a quick word about the offering. The offering is for the member of the church. It is our great opportunity to worship God. If you are designating your gift today, make sure that you mark it on your goldenrod envelope. Uh, if you're giving it to Free From Bondage, there's a spot right there to mark it. Uh, also, if you want to give to Kids Camp or uh, all kinds of the other ministry opportunities that we have, make sure it's on there so we can get it to the right place. And now we'd like to encourage everybody to get out of your seats, get friendly, and greet each other in the name of Jesus Christ. <laughs> 